Uh, Jordan yeah. Murphy, Leicester Tigers coach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Get it right. Yeah. <laughs> For the whole last year, going did the uh, yeah the Heineken Champions Cup. Perfect. Yeah, we had to crack up. Obviously the group was very difficult, it doesn't get any easier any year. Uh, I think last season obviously we had Racing, who we have again this year and we'll have some ding dong battles with them but we're very much looking forward to going to Paris and experiencing their new uh, venue. Uh, we've also had, had a tough one against Cast last season who ended up being a, uh, you know, the finalists and, and the champions of France. So um, we had a very difficult group and hopefully this season it might be a little bit easier but I very much doubt it in that uh, Racing obviously there again, Ulster and Scarlet who are a uh, side I hugely admire and, and a, a great coaching team there as well. So um, we will certainly have our work cut out for us but um, you know, I think the players are very excited about it. They want to get out and they, they want to uh, yeah, play against the best in Europe and want to give uh, yeah, get a good account of themselves. So hopefully we can go well in the uh, Heineken Champions Cup. Uh, the Heineken Champions Cup is obviously very special to me as, as, a, as a player. I was very lucky to, to win it on two occasions. I also lost in two finals, which you know were probably up there with two of the biggest regrets in my rugby career. So to um, to go out there and, and, and you know to get through the group stages is fantastic, and, and once you get to the knockout stages, um, it, it all happens very very quick. Um, you know we, we're a quality side. If we get some bodies and a little bit of form on the on the park, then uh, um, we'll have an opportunity to give a uh, you know a good count of ourselves, as I've already said, and, and um, you know who knows what can happen. It's, it's a great venue, the, the crowd are very vocal, they'll get in and, and, and they'll really support their team to the nth degree. Uh, and you know, we've probably not got it right there before, so, so we'll, we'll, uh, um, we'll need to tidy up our game. You know, I'm sure they'll, they'll have a, uh, rested some bodies before it and, and they'll come in fresh into that, so um, it'll be about managing the game. Yeah, we really just have to, to focus on our first game um, and, and you know respect Ulster and, and give Ulster their dues because they're a quality side. Um, they've had a, a tough couple of weeks as well, so undoubtedly they'll want to have a huge start to the competition. Um, after that, Scarlets are, are a great side. You know that they've been in or around the finals of the pro competition for the last couple of years, and, and they've been building and, and you know they play a really nice style of rugby. So um, it's going to be it's going to be very difficult for us the, the opening couple of rounds. I think St James's Park is obviously a fantastic venue. Um, I was very lucky to be here at the World Cup for a couple of the games that were played here, and um, the, the whole sort of city seemed to really buy into it, and, and was very, very excited. And I'm sure the European finals here in the summer will be no different.